friends today we will understand about oxygen evolving complex as it name suggests that this complex is involved in the evolution of oxygen by photolysis of water as we have seen in detail in our previous video that when electrons are released from reaction center p680 of ps2 these electrons are traveled in non cyclic manner and ultimately they are received by natp so these electrons don't come back to p680 in such condition a electron hole is generated at p680 which compel water molecules to photo oxidize through this complex when two molecules of water are oxidized one molecule of oxygen is released four protons are thrown in thylakoid lumen and four electrons are given back to the oxidized p680 and this all process is done by oxygen evolving complex so before going into the detail we all must take into account some of the facts pertaining to oxygen evolving complex like this complex is present on the d1 protein of ps2 which is located on the luminal side of ps2 so this is the luminous lumen side of uh, oxygen evolving complex and uh, there is a d1 protein d2 protein that we have discussed in our uh, previous video and this complex uh, uh, photolyzes water into electron and these electrons are given to oxidize p680 and this complex is rich in magnesium ion chlorine ion and calcium ion and electrons which are uh, produced by the photolysis of water are not given back to p680 directly but through a important amino acid residue of d1 protein that is known as tyrosine residue a important experiment was conducted by Perry Jollet and Basil Koch in which they kept chloroplast in dark and then subjected it to series of short flashes of light short flashes of light and they found a peculiar oscillatory pattern flashes as we see on the x axis and oxygen yield on y axis and they interpreted this result as under first interpretation was virtually no oxygen evolved in the first two flashes of light as we see here that first and the second flash not showing great amount of oxygen so we can take it as a virtually no evolution of oxygen second point was that third flash was showing maximum oxygen production and third point the oxygen evolution at third flash rather than fourth flash reveals that s1 state is the resting state not as zero about this point we will understand in the coming slide but you should know that as is the oxidation state of magnesium ion and as zero when amine hasn't released its electron about this point we will understand in the coming slide the fourth point is that oscillation after some times damp out because of over excitation and the fifth is the most important point of this experiment which says that after every four flashes oxygen was evolved so just remember the photolysis reaction the two molecules of water are oxidized to produce four protons four electron and one molecule of oxygen and one flash of light is releasing one electron and changing states of amine so every four flashes that means four flashes releasing four electron and after that oxygen evolution is taking place now let's see how oxygen evolving complex functions as zero is the state oxidation state of magnesium 
it receives a flash of light releases electron becomes s1 s1 to s2 s2 to s3 and after receiving fourth flash it becomes s4 when transition takes place from s4 to s0 two molecules of water comes in to get photo oxidized if we take s0 amine then after releasing one electron it becomes amine plus releasing two electron two plus and subsequently after releasing four electron it becomes amine four plus when this s4 state of magnesium becomes amine again then two water molecules are photo oxidized to produce one molecule of oxygen four electron and four protons four protons are expelled in the thylakoid lumen four electrons given to p680 four plus this this is the oxidized p680 now let's discuss the third point in which pericock interpreted that as one state was the resting state so just recall that experiment in which uh, isolated chloroplast was kept in dark in this condition amine gave its electron to p681 plus and it becomes p680 so at that point in darkness a state was as one state so already it has released one electron so when first flash was given it was as two when second was given it was as three when third flash was given it was mn4 that's why third flash was at the s4 and releasing one molecule of oxygen in the cox experiment so i think you will understand uh, what uh, Perry and Koch interpreted that when we uh, kept chloroplast in incomplete darkness, then the resting state predominantly will be S1, not S0. And why third flash was putting uh, the bar up? Because it was Mn play Mn plus at the S1 state. So four flashes of light releasing one molecule of oxygen. That was the fifth important point. Now let's test uh, how much you have understood about oxygen evolving complex. Oxygen evolving complex is located on D1 protein of ps2 d2 protein of ps2 iron center protein of cytochrome b6f of tyrosine residue second question photo oxidized p680 converts its electron tyrosine residue of t1 polypeptide of ps2 tyrosine residue of d2 protein mn directly and risky iron center of cytochrome b6f the third question Parry, jollet and basilica studied the production of oxygen by chloroplast kept in dark before series of short flashes of light third flash of light produce maximum rather than fourth flash options are predominantly s0 is the resting state predominantly s4 is the resting state predominantly s1 is the resting state and predominantly s3 is the resting state and the fourth question is total number of reaction involved for the splitting of water in oec that is two three four five so let's see the answer of the first question is a the d1 protein of the ps2 that is then when we discussed in our first slides that d1 protein of the ps2 uh, has the oxygen evolving complex at the luminal phase and second question that is the tyrosine residue of polypeptide and gelet that interpreted that as one was the resting state that's why third flash was producing maximum oxygen the total number of the reactions involved for the splitting of uh, water that is five 
because S1, S2, S3, S4 and the fifth reaction is S4 to S0. That transition is making the fifth reaction. Now let's see next set of uh, questions. Where protons are accumulated after photolysis of water in thylakoid? Now let's uh, take next set of questions where protons are accumulated after photolysis of water and chloroplast thylakoid lumen stroma thylakoid membrane between ps2 and cytochrome b6f as per the model of the oxygen evolving complex photolysis of water takes place at which stage s0 to s1 s1 to s2 s2 to s3 s3 to s4 s4 to s0 Third question, which as state is slight independent in relation to photolysis of water? Options are S0 to S1, S4 to S0, S2 to S3, S1 to S2 and none of the above. Fourth question, how many protons are accumulated for the production of six molecules of oxygen from oxygen evolving complex? Options are 24, 12, 6 and 8. So answer of these questions are a e b and a thank you friends see you next time